In 2004, Craig Shapiro completed his Dutch language course and received a Dutch passport. In his desire to fully integrate into Dutch culture, he is now, for better or for worse, attempting what the Dutch call cabaret. Please welcome Craig Shapiro. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for coming. Eindhoven, how you doing? Yeah. Welcome to the show. Uh, well, I'm your host. Uh, my name is Gregory Shapiro, the American Netherlander. Uh, I'm a little bit of both. A little bit American, a little bit Dutch. And uh, some of you are too, I have a feeling. Uh, how many Dutch people do we have here tonight? Dutch people, make some noise. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. That's more noise than Dutch people normally make. That's good, good, we're proud, yes, we're loud. And uh, okay, uh, it's, we're gonna improve on that as the night goes on, you'll see. Uh, how about not Dutch people? How many not Dutch people here tonight? <laughs> That's quite a few as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might have studied the assimilation course and this is how it happens, people. If you're like me, you might travel to the Netherlands, maybe in the 1990s, to set up a comedy theater, just for one summer. As it turns out, that's the longest summer I've ever had. And, and it's great, you know, I came here just to visit, maybe just to stay for a little while. I thought, nice country, shame about the language, but I stay anyway, you know? And a lot of us, that's how it happens. Uh, I uh, ended up being, uh, well, I stayed here long enough I ended up being called this honorary title called Allah Tone, which <laughs> is a wonderful term uh, that you earn if you live here long enough. Uh, Allah Tone. It, it's a word that Dutch people made up so that if you don't say it right, they know you're not from around here. <laughs> And, uh, and alachton, it's a beautiful word. It flows right off the back of the throat. Uh, anytime you take the Dutch assimilation course, you actually get two courses for the price of one. You get one in the classroom and another whole different course in real life when you're reading the newspaper. Because in the Dutch you know, classroom, we're learning about the Netherlands as a history of building on the polder, and we have the polder model. And then you open the newspaper and it says, the polder model is dead. And in the classroom, they say, we have a history of tolerance and we're proud of our tolerance. And then you read like tolerance is, you know, it's gone. And then you read about how immigration, the, the Netherlands is built on immigration and we're proud of our history of accepting people from all over the world. And then you read about full is full. <laughs> and then the question becomes, how can you teach a course about the Dutch identity when the Dutch are having a bit of an identity crisis, you know? And that was the inspiration. As a public service, I thought, I'm going to make one in Burgerings Cursus, one assimilation course that tries to merge those two different experiences, and that's what we call How to be Orange, making the Dutch take their own in Burgerings exam. 